Hello, hello to all of my crafty friends out there. This is Bonnie Pusa coming to you with the embellishments on the 11th share for June. Um, this month I'm diving into my wax seals, which is why you see a few of them before you. These ones I got from, um, Timu, so you'll also get to see today how those work. Um, but before I continue, I'd like to invite you to watch the videos of all of the other participants in this collaboration. Their work is always very inspiring. Their links will be listed in the description box down, or the comment box down below. Okay, um, let's dive in. So besides wax seal, I also pulled out my scraps, my paper scraps, as well as <clears throat> fabric scraps and not fabric scraps. So if um, you had a chance to watch one of my organization videos, uh, this is how I store my scraps and they're sorted by color. Um, and then I have these packages of um, just fabric bits. This is sewn um, fabric that I purchased with someone on Instagram. I think this is one of her kits. So I just went to town. I had lots of fun. And I think that's essentially all of my materials. Let me show you what I created. So today I was just trying to... Um, explore the different ways of using um, wax seals in embellishments. So here's one that I made. And this is using uh, Maggie Holmes scraps. I even tried them on um, ribbon. Oh, and this is one of the, um, this is one of the, uh, Timu ones, just to give you a sense. The one first one I show you was Timu as well. And I tried them on some of those ribbons. So I was thinking most of these I put as bag toppers, but I thought, you know, you could put this vertically on the bag and then maybe like a sentiment horizontal to it. I thought that'd be fun. So that's that one. This is also Timu and I thought that came out really nice. Okay. Then I was like, can you put them on rosettes? Turns out you can. Oh, I think that's a little upside down. I think this is Sakura from Timu. So I like the tone on tone of that. I went nautical with this one. Oh, by the way, oh, I'm so sorry to start off by saying this. Um, these were inspired by a trace of sparkle. She made them using um, fabric. And I did want to play around with the fabric, but I also wanted to play around with fabric mixes. With fabric and paper mixed. So this is paper and then there's fabric opp opposite it. And that's a like compass like nautical, um, what do you call it? Uh, nautical, um, wax seal. Then I started playing with other ways to use the paper and the fabric. So we have a, a paper scrap here and ruffles. <laughs> Super fun. Here's another example of me mixing the two. And another. I guess I could leave these here. And this one I was playing around with. Um, this is actually just one piece of fabric. Um, and I just cut into the bottom. But I wanted to make, again, that, that vertical. Um, give it that vertical feel. Okay, and I have two more. This one I layered up fabric. 
And last but not least, I, um, you know, use some lace with this very cute Victorian woman who I got from Via Beautiful. Um, okay, so that <clears throat> brings me to the end of my share today. I hope, as always, you were inspired in some way. Um, and um, if you are visiting or passing through, I'd love for you to consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. Thank you to all of my regular subscribers for supporting this channel with your viewership. It's really, really appreciated. And welcome, welcome to all of my new subscribers. Again, I hope you are inspired. And I'll see you next month for the July edition of Embellishments on the, on the 11th, hosted by Deb Hawk at Deb Hawk's Crafty College. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.